to shower again. Steve knows everything and Steve fixes everything. No pressure, Steve. Steve knows everything. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. <laughs> okay, Eureka, we're in business, people. We're in business. update so we've been in Janeway the trailer for about 10 days yep and it's looking much better check it out we'll give you a full update once we're done 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 but it's not so bad now we can actually walk through today we went shopping at the RV store, and we're so excited! <laughs> we're like official, right? What do we get? We are official. So we got... I don't even know what this thing is here. Well, it is a coupleur to you. Yeah, that A thing. hose coupler. It's a hose coupler. Oh, that's right. To connect two hoses together. The so that you can get a longer extension, a longer hose out of two hoses. But specifically the dump the dump hoses for um, the gray water and all that stuff because one of them's broken. We did not get a new lock for our garage for our storage because they didn't have it in but they're going to get it soon. Well the Alpha series they stopped making these Alpha trailers in 2008 so it's kind of hard to get some of these parts. They're kind of weird so they're ordering something and they're hoping it'll fit. What else did you get? Got new light bulbs. That's Woo! important in life. Yeah. Because a lot of the light bulbs are burned out here. We got a lock for Janeway so that Janeway stays here when we're not home. We come back to Janeway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want anybody just running off at our house. More light bulbs. And we'll never these have enough light are bulbs. the clamps to hook up the hoses to this thingy thingy. And what else do we have here? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, this? This is the... That was a super fake laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pure Power. So our intent is to get a, hopefully, a composting toilet. Because we want to be as green and off-grid. Yes, natural. as possible, yeah. But until then, this is the best that they had. And this is just natural enzymes. And it's very... It says it's safe and natural and this goes in the black water tank or down the toilet to eat the duty it's the poop eater <laughs> but they said that we could put it in all of the um like every sink and everything just to keep it uh running nicely so for now we'll do this until we invest we're look, gonna look at like a nature's head or something yes. nature's head toilet yeah something but right now we're just happy that we were able to um get all the tanks drained because like oh an hour ago I was trying to do dishes and guess what the galley water tank was full and it was backing yeah. up it was so gross and she was a little nervous and annoyed and I said don't worry my love big papa got this <laughs> that's super creepy <laughs> Ah, uh, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but he he did. He figured it out. And now all is well. And the dishes are done. And we can even shower again. And Yay! Tomorrow we have a lot of more, a lot, a lot of more things to do. And we're going to open our brand new washing machine. Ooh. And see if it actually works and doesn't trip the, um, the solar inverter. And yeah. then we're supposed to get a new electronic uh, battery powered vacuum cleaner oh, was supposed right. to be delivered like tonight or something. Yeah. It's not here yet because the other one here. keeps tripping the inverter. So live and learn the life of solar off grid living, I guess, but no regrets yet. Absolutely not. So, loving it. Loving it. I'm loving it too. So tomorrow. We'll see what more we can get done. We're almost there. We're almost put away. Yay! So close. So close. The baby cows are out again. And we are in a massive, massive windstorm.
been scary as could be. Wow, this is like incredible. But the babies from next door have escaped again. Can't hardly blame them. And now they're over at the neighbor's house. I just hope they don't come over here and try to eat our garden. We just planted these poor babies last night. There's our veggie garden. Everything just got transplanted. Now it's being blown to smithereens. Just gotta watch for the cows. Cause they'll eat the whole garden in about two minutes. I think they're just right now trying to take refuge from the storm. Okay, we're coming up on two weeks here on the trailer. And we are uh, in the middle of an extreme wind event, an extreme red flag warning, because in California, when it's hot and it's getting hot and it's dry and it's very dry and it is really, really windy. So when those conditions occur, we're in um, extreme fire danger. So it's also pretty harrowing being in this trailer with wind gusts of 50 miles an hour or so. And it's just shaking the trailer like crazy. I got almost no sleep last night because this started yesterday afternoon and it just has been getting worse and worse. And I don't know if you can see what's going on out there. It is windy. Yeah, the whole the whole rig is rocking now. So, yikes! It's um, it's interesting living here. <laughs> We're experiencing it all in two weeks. We've gone through all kinds of stuff, but as you as you can see, once again, we live in uh, a very very fire prone area. In fact, the house right above us um, burned to the ground a couple years ago. And that was a beautiful, shiny new house, but uh, I know it was quite scary for everybody who lived here. Okay, so on the upside of it all is that um, apparently there are thousands of people in Los Angeles who do not have power because of this extreme wind event, and we have solar. So we are self-contained. So at least we have water, we have power, we've got everything we need because we're off-grid and self-contained. So fingers crossed. I hope those people get their power back. But um, but so far, so good here, as long as I don't run the vacuum at the same time that I run my computer or I don't run the uh, garbage disposal and stuff. Anyway, just sitting here rocking and rolling in the wind and um, trying to decide if I want to go to my sister's and do laundry. Yeah, that's it, do laundry. Or uh, or uh, stay here and brave the, um, the wind vent. We'll see. I think I'm going to tough it out because I got some stuff coming today, some deliveries, and I need that stuff because I don't have enough stuff. Almost here two weeks. Okay, and uh, yeah, so the swamp cooler didn't work out. Just made everything hot and sweaty. And so that was kind of nasty today. Hot, windy, nasty. So I'm still in my pajamas and the power's off. The 110 power, the inverter shut down because I plugged the printer in even though I didn't turn it on. It was enough to shut everything down. And Aaron just got home. Well, the water will no longer flow by itself from the water tank there into the water over here. Well, this is how you get the water to stop. Just <laughs> lift this up and it stops. And that is the problem. Yeah, herein lies so, the problem. So now we have this ingenious way of doing this. I bought, oh, went and bought this funnel which is working out oh wait water's going everywhere okay not as well as i would have liked it it's not long enough but the nozzle here is why which enables me to put the water in there faster and i'm interested because it's not the lightest thing on the planet okay because this is what we're doing right now we're doing a bucket la, la, la. ah wait water water's everywhere here take that let me put that up somewhere 
Okay. Well, let's show you how we fill this thing. It's uh okay. Was it gonna stop? What's going on? So we'd like to be able to shower. We want to be able to shower, do the dishes, use the toilet. There's still some. <laughs> <laughs> you need to rinse that. <laughs> There's still some water, but not enough to shower and stuff. So now we're doing the bucket method. We're filling up this bucket right here in this bowl. Okay, so we got a bucket right here that we're filling up. Yay, bucket time! Bucket! And then we're pouring, <laughs> pouring it by bucket into the um, water system. Because as soon as we put that hose in there, stops running. Now I did get a, um, what do you call that? A pump? Water pump? But I got the wrong kind. Ah! So I opened it to hook it up. Yeah, it's not working. So that's going back. And the next one, the right one won't be here till Friday. Today's Tuesday. So we're <laughs> filling things up with a bucket. <laughs> it's very weird. Right here, the water wants to come out. Right here, the water doesn't want to come out. I know. And it used to work just fine. Uh, it's been working fine until today. Oh god. Okay, well let's fill it up again. Yeah. Ugh. Water coming out of the hose. Watch this, this is mad. Look at that. Water, water. Water, water, more water going into the RV and it stops. No water going into the it, RV. It's always worked. Okay, so it's come weird. On. So come on, I'll hold this. Here we go. Here comes the fun part. Okay, let's do this. I'm standing in mud right now. It's gotten quite muddy. I think what I really need to do is just dunk my head in this water. Oh man, I'm just sloshing around in mud over here. Oh my gosh, you're getting water everywhere. Seems to be going in. This is looking good so far. How many have we done so far? Like This is fourth. No, yeah. this is like at least six. I don't know, maybe five. Yeah, we've done at least six I of these. I stopped counting. Because we did five and then I went and checked and it didn't even move the water gauge. So this is at least six, maybe seven. Now I'm going to go check the water gauge. Oh man, seriously? Well, there you have it. The bandit has done it again. We had our um, DC power, 12 volt power, but now we have the, the um, outlets back. And look at here. We're gonna test fresh water. We got two lights, and that's good enough for us to have a couple of nice hot showers and do the dishes. And you know, every day I keep saying, I'm gonna get finished today, and something's always happens. We're still not done. And uh, it's our wedding anniversary, and this is how we're spending it <laughs> with buckets and fuses. It's so fun. So, um, anyway, another day and uh, another adventure. But at least now we have an emergency backup system for putting water into the um, Janeway. <sighs> Never a dull moment. Work, work, work. Worked. I'm at home. Big Papa's working again. Please don't call yourself Big Papa. You're keeping me out. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so we got this panda. Panda washing machine. It says it's fully automatic. So we'll see about that. But I don't know if it's gonna run on our solar or if it's gonna totally shut it down like lots of other things are doing. But we need to be able to do laundry. Okay, first thing we've got is this thing. This is what it says. As the right photo, and I think they mean on the left. As the right, that's the left. Put down the machine from side. Put down the machine on some soft thing. Please let the remarkable face outside 
the arrow direction is machine front side. Align the screw hole between bottom and bottom cover. Use the appendix screw to fasten the bottom cover. In order to anti-rat, in order to anti-rat and avoid unexpected something happen, please install the bottom cover. It is useful to decrease the noise when the bottom cover is installed. I have no idea what I just read. I think this is, I think they're trying to say this is the bottom cover. Styrofoam. It's purple. It's 50 pounds. Uh, sure. Well, there's that. It's early the next day of the panda washer setup and I couldn't figure everything out. I'm looking, still looking at this guy right here and its instructions and I figured out to lay it on its side even though the package says don't. So let me see if I can figure out what goes on the bottom and like what, what on earth they're talking about. Uh, fingers crossed, I'm not so handy and my husband's at work. I don't know, I just know it's getting hot in here already. And I need to figure this out because I also got a vacuum. Our vacuum kept shutting down the inverter, so we got a new vacuum. That's next, but I need to figure this out. Um... Okay, so here's the latest on Janeway and where we are with finally being done with this move, if it will ever be done. I'm so ready to just settle in and, you know, start living my life. But so far, this uh, move and Janeway has, Janeway is our trailer, has consumed all of our time. Okay, so the latest update on furniture. So when we moved in, if you remember, if you saw earlier videos, we this uh, trailer came with all white leather furniture, including a, a queen size sofa sleeper thing. And since we're vegan, of course, we don't want animal skins in our house. So we gave all that furniture away and we bought a really cute, super cute, red uh, Art Deco style furniture that we actually were able to get in the door because it's kind of tricky. And we set it up and it looked it looked like it was you know, totally made for this place, like it was made for this trailer. And it sucked. <laughs> it was the most uncomfortable sofa. I've ever sat on. It was horrible. So we gave it away after we bought it on Craigslist. But um, so that was gone. So I searched and searched and searched and searched and searched and I found the he perfect sofa. Oh my God. It was the most beautiful sofa ever. It was so perfect. And we bought a, a area rug and pillows and stuff to match it. We bought it, then had it delivered or, you know, brought it over on Sunday a couple days ago. And yeah, so that sofa was not coming in here. Okay, we've been doing this for about 20 minutes now. We got nothing going on. Okay. I think lifting it up is the trick. Which way? Is this up or just... All we need is this clear <laughs> this corner. They try, I think they were trying for over an hour to jam that sofa in the door. And we had it stuck. We had like the freezer doors open and everything was not coming in. I mean, they really, really tried. And as luck would have it, our neighbor wandered over to see if she could help. Like maybe she could offer us to use uh, her drill or something because she has a bunch of tools and we do not. And we told her what was going on and she wanted to buy the sofa. So she was so excited. She said it's the most beautiful sofa she's ever seen. 
So now it's at her house and she's loving it. So now I'm sitting on the floor surrounded by a bunch of pillows. Um, but what happened was very, very weird. Uh, it's not really that weird. These things happen all the time now. So I was highly upset, traumatized by the sofa not coming in and being stuck wedged in the doorway. So the next morning, I looked a little bit on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace that night, didn't see anything, and just gave up. Next morning, I get on. My internet's acting totally crazy. Thank you, Verizon, for your terrible service. And the only furniture piece that really came up that I could really see was the first thing when I searched on Craigslist, under sofa, an RV sofa came up. And I've never seen an RV sofa in Craigslist furniture listing. So I was like, what? And I could see all the images and I sent it over to Aaron. I think it was already on a trailer. It comes apart into four pieces. And so I called the guy, we went over and looked at it. It seems to be perfect. And we're really, really excited. And so he's gonna deliver it today, um, later today. And, <sighs> fingers crossed because we need something to sit on besides the floor so let's see what happens um i think it's gonna work oh yes it's gonna work <laughs>